So this is intended to be a, a very short video explaining how to use the Pipistrel, PPG and Batwalk devices. These devices are inexpensive self-build bat detectors and ultrasonic recorders. The simplest device for me to describe is actually the PPG, so I'll kick off there. It's an ultrasonic recorder. It has programmable wake and sleep time. When it's awake, it listens for bats. If it hears bats, it makes a recording of 5 or 10, 15 or 20 seconds as a 384 kHz 16 bit WAV file. All three of these devices have the same architecture. There's an ultrasonic microphone and amplification circuit which listens for ultrasonic energy, gets that to the right level so that it can be injected into a Raspberry Pi Pico, which is the brains of the outfit, and the devices that do recording, which are PPG and Pipistrel, have a micro SD card and a power supply associated with the micro SD card. Pipistrel has all the functionality of PPG but also adds heterodyne and time expanding bat detection. Batwalk has the functionality of Pipistrel minus the functionality of PPG, so it's just a heterodyne and time expanding bat detector. Pipistrel and Batwalk have 10 LEDs at the uh, front and to the top left of the device as you're looking at it. These are not a level meter, it's actually a spectrum display. So the brightness of the LEDs indicates the energy, and the LEDs that are lit up indicate where the energy is in the spectrum. Let me show you that quickly. I've got an ultrasound speaker attached to my Mac and I'll throw some test tones out of it which the Batwalk can pick up. 15, then 25 kilohertz, then 35 kilohertz, then 48 kilohertz, and you can see different LEDs lighting up as the different frequencies are heard by the Batwalk. You'd be surprised how much ultrasonic energy is in normal everyday sounds. I'll just snap my fingers at the device and you can see all the LEDs lighting up. Um, there's a lot of ultrasound in a finger snap, and it's actually the thing I use to test devices when I've just built them to make sure that the microphone circuit is working. Let's look at a Batwalk operating as a bat detector. I'll need to plug in a powered speaker and I'll start my bat synthesizer and once I've done that I'll actually just shut up and let the captions do the talking. Twenty two point six kilohertz. Eighteen point three kilohertz. Freeze frequency. 23.5 kilohertz 25 kilohertz 36 kilohertz 45 kilohertz 36 kilohertz 25 kilohertz 19.8 kilohertz Scanning for bats Eighteen point one kilohertz. Sixteen point six kilohertz. 21 kilohertz. So that's bat detection. Um, that functionality is identical between Batwalk and Pipistrel. Pipistrel differs from Batwalk in that it has the recording functionality, so I shall now show you ultrasonic recording. To make recordings with the correct date and timestamp and with geolocation information, you need to chirp your device first. That's done with the Pipistrel application, which is available for iOS and for Android from the Google Play Store. I'll show you that. You can actually hear what the device does when I press the, uh, the deploy button. There's a chirp that sounds like static noise. And you can see the LEDs lighting up. The Pipistrel can hear it, but it's not loud enough to, to be able to demodulate the data. There we go. So the flashes indicate that the Pipistrel has heard the chirp and has now programmed itself.
We can now write WAV files. A single click on the middle button will write a single WAV file to the SD card. During writing, all the LEDs go dark, which is to make the electrical environment as quiet as possible for the pipistrelle that improves recording quality. A long press on the middle button puts the pipistrelle into overnight recording mode, so that basically turns the pipistrelle from that point into a PPG. I'll now show you the process of uh, programming a PPG for recordings, which is incredibly brainless because it has no buttons, it has no user interface. You just chirp it with the application and on hearing the chirp it immediately enters overnight mode and starts either sleeping or if the current time of day is the wake time, it's awake, it's listening for bats and it's recording them if it can hear them. So this is the act of chirping a PPG, just like Pipistrel. Point the speaker of your phone at the microphone port of the PPG and hit the deploy button. The single LED will pulse in the same way that the spectrum pulses on the Pipistrel. And then the PPG immediately enters overnight mode. So um, it sleeps during sleep time, it's awake during wake time, and when it's awake it listens for bats and makes recording if it hears them. And that's it. Hope that's been useful. If you need to know more, follow the QR code that's on screen and enjoy.